All right, we're gonna teach you how to do a front leg elevated split squat. And again, you're always gonna want a little pad or something soft, could be a tall, for that back knee to touch. And also makes you get your range of motion too. He's going all the way down, light touch, knees not buckling. I like how that knee's driving forward, so he's got a nice lean, or he's got a straight torso, I should say, no lean. You see the depth, nice tall torso, front foot is always flat, back leg is on the ball of foot. Now we're gonna progress to a goblet position. The nice thing about a goblet position is it forces your torso to be tall and tight. You always keep that weight, you hug it right up against the body. You got a light touch. Now Dave's heel is probably, it'd be nice to see that heel a little more on the box. So maybe we slide, there you go. We get, I always wanna get that whole foot on the box, drive that shoulder up and back. He's so athletic, he didn't even notice. Look at this position. Now we'll try, now let's move into the dumbbell position. Dumbbells down low, dumbbells down low. Here's your third progression. The reason we do this last in the progression is dumbbells tend to pull you forwards and it takes training to be able to fight that forward lean that the dumbbells create. But usually this will be your third progression. When the weight gets too heavy to hold, up high, and then you go down low. There it is.